Time. We do begin see. with some breaking news for you. Yeah, take a look at this, folks. A major house fire in Sun Lakes. This one could be seen from miles around. This is a live look at what's happening right now. It happened near Alma School Road in Chandler Heights. This is unreal. We don't have many details at this point, but we do have a crew on the scene. We're going to work to get you more details as soon as we know them. But take a look at that. Wow. Unbelievable. And just to think how long it's been burning. Yeah. They've been out there for a good hour or so. All right, 501 is your time, and we need to talk about what's happening up in the skies. Jimmy Q with the latest on weather. We're going to be busy the next couple of days. Yeah, really, maybe the next six days wow. or so. And not, not just with the uh, rain, but maybe cold temperatures, 30s in the valley for hot, for low temperatures coming up uh, by the end of the weekend. Right now, though, temperatures outside, seasonably cold, 50s and 40s to start things off. Jacket required. It's the name of some album. I got to think about that. I think it's Bill <laughs> Collins' album. Bill Collins. Anyways, uh, from my showers, look at this. It's going to be headed our way. All this stuff in California is moving in towards our direction, Vanessa. Look for a high of 73 for today. Showers later on. I think the first half of the day should be fine. Hopefully that early morning commute to start things off in the first half of the day is looking okay. Well, we're kind of busy, Jimmy, at 502 this morning. We do have a few accidents, and two of them are in the East Valley, so I'll focus on these ones really quick. So we have one on the US 60 westbound at Mesa Drive. That one's not causing any delays for you. And then we have a Surface Street wreck at Mesa Drive at Holmes Avenue. So just be aware of those two accidents in the East Valley. And I have a few more coming up in my next report. Emma? All right, sounds good. Thanks, Vanessa. 502 in this morning, a Valley family finally receiving justice three years after their teenage daughter was shot and killed outside of a high school basketball game. Jason Lindsay was convicted yesterday in the murder of this girl, 16 year old Niani Allen. Police say the two got into a fight outside of Sierra Linda High School, which turned into a drive by shooting. A jury found Lindsay guilty of multiple charges, including first degree murder. New details this morning about President Trump's written answers to special counsel Robert Mueller. NBC News has learned the president said he was not told about the 2016 Trump Tower meeting and that he did not know WikiLeaks planned to release emails about the Clinton campaign. And sources say these answers were consistent with his public statements on the investigation. And we are learning more about three service members who were killed during an attack in Afghanistan. The three were in the area where an IED went off yesterday, destroying a military vehicle. The Defense Department has identified those service members who were killed as 29-year-old Army Captain Andrew Patrick Ross, 25-year-old Air Force Staff Sergeant Dylan Elchin, and 39-year-old Army Sergeant First Class Eric Michael Iman. The Taliban has claimed responsibility. Phoenix police say a DUI suspect in a deadly crash tried to stage the scene. According to court documents, Jamie Garcia told police he and the victim, Gregory James, left a bar with James driving. After the crash, police say the victim's body was in an unnatural position after being repositioned by the suspect. Ivanka Trump says her email use cannot be compared to Hillary Clinton's. The first daughter reportedly used a personal email account as she was transitioning into a position at the White House. Well, Ivanka Trump says her emails were archived and contained no classified information. Republicans and Democrats in Congress say they are reviewing the situation to make sure she followed federal records law. President Trump heads to Argentina this morning for the G20 summit where he will meet with Russia's President Vladimir Putin. But ahead of his massive visit, massive protests as people took to the street of the capital city of Buenos Aires. Demonstrators accused the G20 leaders of only wanting to take advantage of the region. Security has been ramped up ahead of the summit. Two of the nation's most famous Christmas trees are now shining bright for the holiday season. Take a look, the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree was lit in New York City last night with the help of New York's Mayor Bill de Blasio. President Trump and First Lady Melania also lit up the national Christmas tree at the White House during the annual tree lighting ceremony there. Speaking of Christmas, Santa's newest helper has a new name. The Phoenix Zoo just revealed the name of their baby reindeer. Say hello to Noel. I'm guessing it's not Noel, it's Noel. <laughs> the zoo asked, she is a girl. The zoo asked the community to vote on names for the six month old online. Noel won out with more than half of the votes. Flurry came in second. You can see Noel and all the other reindeer during zoo lights. Those are such yeah. cool animals. Yeah, they are. And they know so many Cute secrets man. about Santa. No. Yeah. <laughs> hey, take a walk on the wild side with today in AZ and the Phoenix Zoo. You can win a family membership to the zoo 
just by watching for our Animal of the Week every Friday starting at 6 a.m. All you have to do is find out each week's critter, then head to our Facebook page or the 12 News app to enter. Fun kicks off tomorrow morning right here on Today in AZ. I hear they are bringing a uh, very poisonous snake and Jimmy really? Q's doing the segment, so oh, it yeah. will be great. Perfect, trying to get rid of them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's their idea.